Hi everyone, Coach Lana checking in on the Beach Body Reset. So today, week one is over. This is now day eight, and I'm feeling pretty good. So a recap: um, the reason I decided to do the Beach Body Reset was number one, I had knee surgery last Wednesday on day one of the reset. Yes, no excuses. <laughs> And the last two knee surgeries, yes, this is my third knee surgery. My last two knee surgeries, I gained about 10 pounds each time. So that's 20 pounds. And it took me a long time to lose some of the weight. I actually did not lose all the weight. And I definitely didn't want to gain weight this time. And I wanted to eat really clean because I knew that would help me recover a lot better. So that was one of my reasons. My second reason is I have a really horrible sugar habit sugar addiction I would really call it and I want to wean myself off that so it's helping so far I'm feeling pretty good I don't feel like I my cravings are getting smaller and I'm creating really good habits so that's another good reason um, to do the reset and third I'm trying to significantly reduce the amount of animal products that I'm eating for personal reasons I'm gonna become I would say a veganitarian because I don't think I'm gonna go completely meatless all the time and it's mainly if I know where the things come from, if I know it was ethical meat, if I know it was organic, or maybe I'm just going to slip up every now and then. But I'm pretty much going to go to a mostly vegan diet with a little snippet here and there. Um, that's kind of in my intention. But you know, baby steps. I never thought in a million years I'd ever become vegetarian. So who knows, I may be vegan you know, a year from now. We can find out, right? So, so far I'm feeling really good. I felt really tired the first week. But it may have been because I had knee surgery and I had my period. <gasps> TMI, I know, I know, TMI. But anyway, I want to be honest. And a lot of my videos are going to have honesty in them. So, you know, just get real, right? Get real. Uh, I felt the portion size was amazing. The portions were, they didn't look huge, but they were very filling. So I got full halfway to three quarters of the way through almost every single meal. Today was the only exception. Today I actually ate the optional snack and that's because I ate so early in the morning um, because I have physical therapy today. But other than that, most days I'm seriously eating the food going, okay, I'm full now, which is really good. So you know that you're not gonna be starving on this diet. Very healthy food. Now here's some really important information. If you're gonna start the reset, this may even make you wanna change your date. If you um, are the kind of person that drinks a lot of coffee, you eat a lot of processed foods, you drink a lot of sodas, maybe you drink a lot of alcohol, you eat out a lot, okay, you might want to push the reset off a week or two and wean yourself off those things. And the reason is this. I read a lot of posts in our private Facebook group that we have for the reset that people were having muscle aches, headaches, and flu-like symptoms. Now a lot of this happens because your body's being cleansed. I didn't experience these. I didn't experience these because I already eat really, really clean, except for my sugar addiction. But that's once a day. Everything else is mostly hand-cooked, hand-chopped, and made and not processed. So I didn't have headaches because I drink a lot of water, and I didn't have muscle aches because my body wasn't flushing, flushing as much toxins out because I didn't have as much. So that being said, so think about it when you're going to plan your reset. Start weaning yourself off these things so it's not like you're hitting a wall when you start the reset. You want to start it, you know, I'm just giving, that's my two cents. So it's up to you. But no, if you do experience these symptoms, they're normal. They're very normal. You're going to see when you do the reset that you're, we have our own private Facebook group. Other people are going to be posting how they feel. So anyway, that's my two cents. I'm going to keep updating you. If you guys have questions, please contact me. Coach Lana at BeachBodyCoach.com. Please let me know. This is a huge commitment. Huge, 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 but so worth it. So let me know. Coach Lana at BeachBodyCoach.com. All right? I'm here for you. This is Coach Lana, and I'm out of here.